Hi everyone. Hi guys. Um, welcome back. Oh, we, as you can see, we're with the wonderful Sarah McCartney here. We're not in Hello. the loft. We're not in the loft, and we're not either in Acton, which is where we were last time. No. But we're now in the wonderful new premises here. So yeah. Where are we? I got an Uber because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> sort of Hammersmith <laughs> Raven Square. Yeah. You are in London W6 in Hammersmith, and this little bit is called Brackenbury Village. Oh, nice. Uh huh. But yeah. we're here for a, a quite a, an important, exciting. Uh, reason yeah. I think a little bit of announcement. So, you've seen wafts from the loft, and yeah. we are now hopefully the start of making the waft uh, from the yes. loft. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, so, so excited. We are very, very, very grateful uh, that Sarah's uh, offered to kind of work with us and make um, waft from the loft the fragrance. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm delighted. I, uh, was it? Did I ask you if you would like to do it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I think we, we, we were hoping that yeah. you were yeah. 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 offer and then, and then... And I was hoping you'd let me, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, think, I think I was the one who first said, what do you think? And then it, then I forgot whose idea it was, so... <laughs> um, but yes, the, the loft and all its magnificent fragrant yeah. wonders yeah. And it's still this we did a video last week it still smells incredible yes i mean yesterday all the smells are in the air and that's sort of what we're yeah mm. what we we're going for isn't it the sort of accumulation of everything that we've absolutely and i think we've just some enjoyed. of your fragrances that we've just been talking about particularly the one i'm enjoying a lot of burnt cedar rainbow doves um i feel it really uh tells a strong story and it leads you somewhere you don't expect to go on first spray yeah. and yeah. that's i think that's what we're kind of hoping for from waft from the loft so we've talked yeah, a little bit so sarah sarah came uh, uh down to the church and we had a bit of a, a smell of the church mm -hmm. to try and you know discover its its smells and so you know as, as you'd expect there's incense there's wood um but i i i don't think Waft from the loft should be just about the the church. It's about mm -hmm. you know us yeah. and, and, and what yeah. we do there. It's the journey in fragrance, isn't it? That we've all the J word. Yeah, we've the big J word. You know, <laughs> the things that we've loved over the the past few years. The, the interesting thing for me is now that the loft is within the church, but the loft has now taken on its own fragrance, owing to the fact that so many videos <laughs> have been made there. Yeah. With many fragrances of your choice, the things that you like end up being sprayed in the loft. So that was it, 18th century organ? Yeah, um, yeah, now, 1760s. 1760s has now absorbed certain aromas which weren't there before mm, yeah. watching the loft started filming. I so. should check that out, shouldn't I? It might be <laughs> more interesting than something to say. Maybe we won't. But the keyboard, that, I mean, the keyboard they, has absorbed all of the yeah, molecules. I don't, know, I don't know if everyone's. It smells any, incredible. Yeah, or if anyone is aware that where we put the camera is on top of the manual, i.e. Where, where, where the keys yeah. are for the, the organ. So whenever we spray onto a, a test strip, it's basically going straight onto the keyboard, yeah. which is wooden, wooden keys. So they, they've absorbed all the juice. But I mean, it's a pleasure <laughs> to play every Sunday morning. <laughs> it suddenly smells nice, yeah. instead of just smelling at me. I think what's happened is that the Yes, it, it's just the general ambiance of the loft has changed. Yeah, right? it's absolutely. The, probably the, 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 the seats probably absorbed. Yeah. The floor has absorbed fragrance as it's around. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And then mixed with everything that's in the air with, already which there. Is it's already it's there. a huge, mm. huge old combination. Yes. So we have things to smell. Great. This is so exciting. Good. Yes. Um, and based on... Um, what we smelt when we were there. Mm, uh, Star X. Yeah. And, and, uh, and for no good reason at all, I brought the banana CO2 extract. Oh, uh, yes. Well, yeah. I'm really yeah. We do eat a lot of just... bananas, don't we, Jay? Yeah, I had one earlier <laughs> on for breakfast, in fact. <laughs> I know, I just, just, it just leapt out at me. Mm. Uh, not a good reason. I, I don't know. Let's, I'm going to let you smell something, which, did you see? Top secret. Like, no. Okay. Um, 
But it's one of the incenses, because when mm -hmm. we went and smelt in the incense cupboard, that was really quite entertaining. Mm. And I looked, I who, who knew there was a special incense company that supplies mm. churches only? I mean, an abbey making its own incense and probably have done for a long time. Mm. Yeah. So this is something which you find in Thank one you. of their incenses. It's not a test, but see what you think. And then... Very bright. Yeah. Bright, sort of gently. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Very bright, slightly sweet, yeah. Rosy, yeah. It's a rose. It's, mm. a, yeah. it's a natural rose, um, an extract which I've just got hold of. So, mm. um, I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. But I particularly like that rose incense that we were smelling yeah. from the cupboard. Yeah. Mm. Um, and rose, of course, makes this lovely centre of a fragrance, even mm -hmm. if it's not obvious that you're smelling it, it, it gives it a bit of oomph. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Rose. It gives it a bit of structure mm -hmm. as well, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. There's oh, rose lovely, yeah. in burnt cedar rainbow doves as well, even though you might not know no, it. Yeah, I know it's it. there, yeah. holding it all together. Um, so lots of yeah. woods, I've got lots of woods. Mm. Um, one, here you go. You, you don't have to, but if you like, you can write on them. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> What's it? And also so bend the end so that it doesn't pick up stuff from the table. So should I? Yeah. I'm coming back. Can I get pens? Sorry, I'll just use your pen. No, that's fine. I've got loads. But of this, pens. so is this? Is this the only yeah. rose we're smelling? Or so can I just like just write rose or write? You can write rose ultimate. Ultimate. Yes. I love that. Wow, that's pretty fun. That's, that's going to be my name. first child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Called my child Rose Ultimate. Oh, right. Is it to be able to be, you know, be your last child, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Unless Ultimus. that would be it, yeah. Right. Oh, I love Rose. It's Good. one of my favourite things. Okay. There'll be something wrong with people who don't like roses. So. Mm. No, I. I, ha I have about half a kilo of this. I don't think I can get it anymore because I think the supplier disappeared. But uh, there might be another supplier. It is from Australia. It is a kind of rosewood and it's known as Buddha wood. Buddha, Buddha oh. wood. Mm. Australian desert rosewood. Okay. But yeah. it's a very smoky sort of a mm. wood, I yeah. think. And it has a, it has a sort of like a, almost a sort of licorice fruity aspect. Mm. I should do one for myself. Of course, mm. smelling all these things separately, it is like tasting cookery ingredients and yeah. saying, you know, do you want this in yeah. your pasta sauce? It's, um, it's not always obvious what they will do in a blend yeah. when you smell them by themselves. So I would say don't... Um, Rush to judgment before all the facts are in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's. I mean, it's so good to mm. just get an idea of the ingredients yeah. and the the sort of things on the radar. And also because the I mean, thing, you know, the thing that we amazing. don't know is how, um, you know, how how an accord will, will come together. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. It's uh, it's a bit like music, mm -hmm. but then it's sort of not because if you decide to take. You know, two violas and an oboe. You can sort of picture the, the way that that's going to come out. Yeah. If you take two woods and the rose, there's so many different levels you can use. Yeah. Um, getting the balance right is always... What's the most important thing? Yeah. Um, mm. But then you still don't really know like if the rose will make one of the woods smell... Um, I don't know, chocolatey or mm. Yeah. That's I mean that's the fun of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's just it is the fun. The different directions things can, things can take. And just seeing this now reminds me I still know absolutely nothing about that. <laughs> yeah. I really know nothing. Exactly. I have no idea. And that's why when we um we, we sent you an email about what we kind of wanted to smell like and basically our email was a playlist. <laughs> um, yeah, some songs <laughs> because yeah. I think I mean we obviously we want to smell materials, but I think the where we are thinking at the moment is much um, uh, broader, <laughs> and we're yeah. kind of thinking we're thinking of finished product, and we want the what we want the effect to be, rather than saying, oh, it's definitely got to have cedar yeah. in it, or yeah. it's definitely. That's I mean that's the beauty, isn't it? That, mm. that we get to smell the 
the sort of first footsteps. Yeah, it's well. It's a privilege. Let's not many face people it. Have. We're here having a chat, and yeah. I'll get. Uh, we don't have to say yes or no to any of mm. these things. I'm just interested in how you feel about them, mm -hmm. and um, it might even be that some things you love end up not being in there because they're yeah. right for the blend. Um, but you know, we like to chat. Um, here it's is fantastic. something for you. Thank you. Which you may or may not recognise. So that's very sweet. So I just get the table. Well, mmm, yes. Describe sweet. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Shall I tell you? Mm. It's Davana. Davana? This is Davana essential oil, which is a kind of Artemisia. Oh, right, yeah. What's, what was I wearing recently that smells like this? Um, uh, Marquis de Sade by Iswad de Parfum. Oh, no, mm -hmm. It's kind of got that kind of, um, it's quite fruity. Yes, very. It's amazing because you see the plant and it's just a little herb. Yeah. But it smells good. It smells like mulled wine to me. Or at least it mm. always yes. reminds me of mulled wine. So when you mentioned wine, I thought I'd bring this. God, <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. I would never have. See, I, I don't know, but I can, I can just like. imagine this, you know, combining with some wood to make something a bit like Chateau Maison, mm -hmm. which is the one we've got that says. Yes. Yes, including. You know, uh, this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it, absolutely. <laughs> it's going to be the most fascinating video, isn't it? <laughs> As yeah. it's just going. Yeah, <laughs> there might be some editing. Some I mean. editing, yeah, yeah. I think possibly. Yeah, some. we don't want to give away the secrets to, mm. to people out there. But I, um, I like the fact that that almost has a, like it has a sort of slightly savoury Christmas cakey thing going mm. on. Yep. Somehow. Mm -hmm. I feel that the Divana will probably make it in there. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. But yeah, if you yeah. buy something that says it's got Divana in it, or it's got a Divana note, and actually, most of it smells like Ooh. cedar wood. That's what you might think it is. Yeah. But it's this. Like this. Good. Yeah. Of course you do. I'm kind of bitter, dank. Uh, is it oak moss? Yes, it's oak moss. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can see the way you were going with that. Yeah. yeah. As if you just <sighs> fell down mm. nose first so now, into a forest. And so last time you had a big new vat. Yeah. So is this that? That's this one. Okay. Yeah. 500 yeah. grams of... It's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So how do we go from big vat to this? Because oh, it, it was okay. it's like a sludgy... Yeah, it was. Sort of sludgy, like viscous stuff. material. Yeah, it was. So what I did was take four grams of that from the vat, mm. yeah. pour in an extra 76 grams of alcohol, so that it came to 80, so it's at 5%, stirred quite a lot. That dissolved completely. Yeah. And created this, so it is uh, that colour. Mm. Beautiful. Quite. Things I buy her. Yeah. That's good. Oh yes, that Davana as well. Mm -hmm. I think yes. Yeah, so that Davana with the oak moss. That's all. All like that's mm. already a perfume to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I felt also this this segues well. From the idea of the wood of the pews, mm. yeah, totally. You know, whilst feeling it's something else in its own right, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? It's, I don't feel this is churchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I I'm loving that Buddha wood as well, more and more. Yeah, I probably should have waited before I gave it to you <coughs> till it. Is there a paint? A sort of a paint note? Like a, I always get this in <laughs> things like a. I don't know whether it's gloss or matte or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. freshly painted front door when I was a little boy in a bungalow uh, in Cornwall. <laughs> Maroon know. red. I get, nuts. Yes. I get like a kind of nuttiness to it as well. Mm -hmm. I, I really it. like it. it. It also has a certain booziness as well. Yeah. I think. Mm. Right. Oh, that oatmeal smells really good though. Don't worry, you're getting <laughs> Because oak moss is not banned, no. It is saved. Oh, really? By Ifra. Those two together, I'm really enjoying that. I'm getting real kind of like forest floor. Yeah. Like yeah. mushroomy. I'm autumnal. doing pachon, oak moss and vera moss all at the same time. Mm. Is it okay if they touch or is that a bad idea? Uh, it's all right now. 
Yeah. We need one of those little clipper things that you always see. Oh, that's yeah. true. I don't know. Got one somewhere. No, mm. The spinny round one is very uh, theatrical. Oh, yeah. This yeah, I always yeah. like the idea of it. And uh, oh, it's a really good combination. It's, it's a real kind of yeah. balance of kind of slightly dank and but very, very, very dark green. Mm -hmm. Like a really muddy, yeah. oh. I can see kind it. of slightly it's mulchy. Really Stick them in there like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I mean, just... What I'm doing here, really, is I'm trying to reassure myself that I'm down the right street. Totally. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think you, 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 you've taken a slight sidestep with the banana, but... Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think the, I really think the banana has some potential. Somehow. I just got that out today because <laughs> I saw it on the shelf just now and thought, oh, I'm going to let them smell the banana. I didn't really mean it, but <laughs> it's because it was there. Mm. I just... Um, I wanted to go for it. I was hoping. Okay, this is more loft than church, probably. What was the thing I smelled? Oh, it was the pachon, wasn't it? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's quite um, old suitcasey kind of mm. like hint of bandages. Hint of bandages, I like that. Yeah, it's, Sweet, uh, I'm gonna put that down. I write that down. Um, that has a nice old. That has a nice old world. I think the, that oud supports the the sort of oak mossy and yeah, uh, patchy yeah. sort of aspects. But you know that kind of dank. Yeah. Wood. I really enjoy that. Someone sent me a bunch of tiny, tiny samples of oodles, and like. Yeah, I mean, one was just like it was pure boot polish. Really? Like it was, it re I just I did a tiny swat like that, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" I mean, it's amazing, but yeah. So is this what's in, in the black velvet? No, I'll let you smell that one. That's the other one, which is here somewhere. This one. It's very round. This one, isn't it? I really like this. I just yeah, I just I discovered it, and I'm using it in. Mm. So it's fe feminist, did you say? Yeah. And um, what's it got a name? Yes, it is called Oud 184007. What a romantic name. I know. The 007 part. Yeah. <laughs> James, James, James Bond. Yeah. Okay. This is James Bond Oud, it has yeah. to be. Yeah. Mm. See if this, this is uh, diluted down quite a lot because it's a bit wicked. Thank you. This is another... Um, oh, I like this. Right. Yeah. So this is another recreation of an oud called black agar. Mm. Yeah, for me this is a little bit more fun, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. That's in yeah. Black Velvet Cafe. Yeah, maybe that. Because, yeah, when we both smelt that for the first time, we were almost kind of quite surprised at how... And when, you know, when you had it for the, was it the winter video? Yeah. Even amongst all of those other, you know, quite big fragrances we were smelling, it smelt quite seriously substantial and fuck yeah I like this I I think that's got a real um, a real sort of funk cheese to it <laughs> oh that nice ripe yeah, blue like cheese with a bit of as well mm -hmm. yeah it's like, like PVC sofa or, yeah. or, or <laughs> on a hot day or like or PVC cat soup yeah, yes hmm <laughs> <laughs> Like that, I imagine that with Devana, where some with Devana gone. the outfit for the launch party. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That with the Devana, like. Yeah. And yeah, and actually, then that with the Devana and some oak moss. But of course, all mm. of these things. I mean, it's to smell them all separately is mm -hmm. is fantastic, and then. My the job. fact that they all blend together, yeah, I mean, and what, you make it look make so it easy that, oh, we put all of these in the fragrance. But yeah, actually, what I can't begin to comprehend is, you know, as I said at the beginning, something like uh, Burnt Seams or Rainbow, Rainbow Doves is that I find when I wear it on skin, especially, it feels really towards the end quite dirty and quite funky, but I don't really get any suggestion of that at the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah. And how do we get? Just the sugared almonds at the beginning. Really. Yeah. Um, well, with that particular one, the yeah, like almond yeah. evaporates really quickly. So mm. a bitter almond is 
it's basically benzaldehyde, but I used I used the bitter almond essential oil because I felt like it. Um, and so it does come at you uh, mm -hmm. in a marzipan like manner, but then it's all gone. Um, and you know, revealing it like it genuinely does go on the top note, mid note, bass note voyage mm -hmm. that one. Um, a lot of fragrances are not constructed these days to have top notes, mid notes and bass notes. They all last the same amount of time. Some of them smell lighter, but you know, for us a top note is something which doesn't last very long. Not yeah. not necessarily smells light. There are some things that smell light but last a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so th the reason that Burnt Cedar Rainbow does, does that, actually so does what I did in my holidays. The beginning is completely different from the end. Mm. So I quite like making fragrances which do yeah. take you on a little walk. Absolutely, um, Definitely. yeah. Uh, this, one, this one will do that. So it's, so what's it's this black, black like Edward? It's a, it's it? a recreation, it's a synthetic. Well, it's, several, it's lots of synthetics all added mm. up together to smell like oud. Mm. Uh, What's it called? It's called Black Egg Arm. I think there's so many ouds being sprayed with the in and... your loft. The loft. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I think, I think your loft smells quite oudy mm. from the, the amount that has been sprayed over the years. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. So how do you think, because you know, I don't feel you often get oak moss and oud together. They, they, not enough. Of Two different cultures. That's yeah, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what, well, I don't see why not. Because one's from dry, hot countries, and one's from yeah. damp, not so hot. Yeah. Countries. Well, not really. I mean, a lot of oak moss comes from Portugal, I think. Ah, uh, but. But I guess one we think of as being very French. Mm. Some cheaper versus being, yeah. the Oriental. Yeah. The um, kind of fall over in the woods and get your nose all damp. I mean, oak moss does mm. smell quite. Lion Witch and Wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah. Narnia. It's damp as nothing. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes. This is very different. Now this is a frankincense. So this is frankincense mm. carterii. There's, we use serrata as well, but I don't have it upstairs at the moment, but they're similar. But what I would want, lots of people don't recognise this as incense when they smell mm. it I by don't. itself. I thought it was just like some kind of oily citrusy thing. Like yeah, it, it, it smelled like, a, like the opening of a big, of a big classical fougere, a little bit. Mm. I would, yes. But like if I bought a, I bought a vintage bottle, and I had to get up, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I wasn't too keen on the very first smell of it. I got a slight cleaning product association. Yes. Don't, don't worry. Right. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, I'm just, at the moment I'm just saying yes to things I like. That's you know what I mean? But like, I mean, that's a good starting point, isn't it? Yeah. The question of how, oh, yeah. how much I then put in is like, there to me. I think, yeah. Well, I'd say, when I first, like, smell from Bristol Town, like, that smell, I, yeah. oh, I find it really addictive. Yeah. And it I, is hugely addictive. And like, in Shazam, the Lambda, I mean, mm -hmm. I, love I find it, it really... Well, Lambda Lim is I find it very, very and sexy story. as well. I find yeah. it very, very like nuzzle your head in, like. <laughs> That's what we want. Can I just yeah. ask as well? I know it's something. I think I think you remember saying that you really dislike. Yeah. But in order to like maybe go with some frankincense, with some aldehydes. Well, Davana will give an aldehydic effect. And so mm. will, uh, let's see, what else? There's, another, there's another Artemisia, Wormwood. Mm. Wormwood will do that. Adding your actual aldehyde C, 8, 9, 10, 11 to things, I do tend to have a, a 
minor <laughs> yeah. phobia about. Yeah. But I think, see, I think that that cedar we smelled earlier, the cedar leaf from oh, Canada, yeah. I think that if we're what we're looking for is brightness. See, there yeah. are lots of aldehydes in lots of naturals. Mm -hmm. If I wanted an aldehydic effect, I would prefer to add naturals which have aldehydes in them. Okay, okay. Rather than yeah. Yeah. actually, but I, right, if you it's just because I sometimes uh, there are a few fragrances where I feel like aldehydes and incense combined to make something quite bright. Okay. And I just think because we're we're talking about loads of deep things, which is really really great, yeah. and obviously we want that, but maybe as our do that opening, right? The segue. Right. All right. That's fine. Right. I'm going to let you smell aldehyde C10, diluted to one percent. I'm gonna hate it. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you might love it, and I'm going to leave it. Um, my problem with them is that every time I have put aldehydes into a fragrance, because people have asked me, I can only wear it on the hottest day of the year. It's the only time I feel I feel that they're so cold. And here's yeah. me in my you know four layers. <laughs> I I don't like coldness in perfumes. It it might be possible. I you know let's not dismiss it. Mm. I'm open to suggestion. Aldehyde's question mark. Because quite in that, that here on Green Rose, we you know the one we tried. I can't remember, Luster, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Hyron, yeah. wasn't it? Hyron. Sorry. Oh no. Hyron. So we've just done that. We've done a whole video mispronouncing his name. <laughs> um, but yeah, but that's it's quite an austere. Yeah, well, I think we described it. It smells like a frozen rose. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And, and like I think that's because of. Well, Ealing Green is quite. Oh, oh bit, love eh? that stuff as well. Thank you. So doing in the snow, I, I put aldehydes in just to get the feeling of snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coolness. Um, let me go first of all this one before we go aldehyde. Oh, it's so got to have lovely aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put Thank down you. the bottom again. What's this? This isn't, no, this is Nelda Heights. Nope. No, yeah. I've not gone there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Not there. I'll do that next. This is Whistle Down the Bottom End. Something else resonous, something. Yep. Is I would it... like to just put in as many resins as we can possibly yeah. do legally, actually. Shall yeah. I? Some, like a myrrh? It is, it's a Poppernax. It, ah. like, it isn't one, but it's like one. Yeah. yeah. I'm still disappointed that Dan didn't call Will for Poppin' Axe. Oh. I'm really hoping. Poppin' Axe Joy. Oppo. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That, I mean, that, you know, it, it feels like it just, it lives with the labdanum. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And maybe a bit of the, uh, that, the Zivana and the Black Agar. I mean. See, that's a great, I mean, that's a great sort of contrast already, isn't it? But they, they seem to, I can imagine them seamlessly going from one to the next. Hmm. I'm beginning to mm. talk myself into this because candle wax. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hang on a second. Let me just write. Okay. Sorry. So that was what was that last one? Pop an X. Oh, that was a pop an X. Pop an X joy. I'm just gonna write wealth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell anything. I've written op on X. Is it double P? On op that op snow. Op Pop. I mean, there's two P's in, in there eventually, but it's not the double one. See, I, is it I, O pop or is it op pop? Yeah. I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't dislike uh, uh, it at this moment. I don't. I, I yeah. I just. It can be. It can be dealt with in a constructive manner. If I mean, I'm thinking oranges and candle wax, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I get candle wax. But we, you know, we want you to feel that it's, you know, it's your... I could just sneak whatever it's your I colours like and your and style. Tell you or just tell us you're right. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the Elder Heights, my best bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I, I'll, I'll, I'm... Oh, I, I really enjoy that. Like, sorry. <laughs> as we do, transparency we do. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, what do you, what do you think? I do like, I mean, I do like it. I. You can say if you don't like it. I, I wonder... We're going to do your top note, aren't we? So... Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how it works in the opening, if it's just a, if it's a sort of uh, an immediate impact. Yeah. And then we get the... Smell the frankincense now. 
now I think you definitely get. Where is the Frank? Oh, here. Frank is, I feel it's a long way from where it started. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Frankincense with the aldehyde. Yeah. Hey? yeah. I mean, it, it definitely makes for a for an interesting yeah an interesting opening, doesn't it? Oh, that's good. Oh, I've done one of these before. <laughs> I like this. That's civet. No. no. It's not. No. It's a little. <sighs> I like this though. This is Styrax. Oh, okay. Mm. So, am I am I wrong to be getting a side elephant? Not at all. I think here? I think it's. Right. Well, you mentioned Alimal uh, Animalic, mm. and um, that is animal. oh yeah, it's, but it's not made of animals, which is great. Yeah. Mm. So is it a resin? Yeah. It's not, yeah. So, but it's got that bit of filth, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. But this is uh, yeah, this is low styrene styrax, so we can use it. So what is styrene? Um, styrax. Oh, styrene is the thing in it which does not do you good. It is quite pissy, isn't it? Yeah. See, it feels. It, I would say it smells no more like high. Is it high ratium? Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. yeah, which is what's in high. Yeah, which I haven't used. Which is actual piss, pee and poo. Yeah. So uh, that's really good because that mm. that's gonna that's gonna just but, give a kind of a, a feel again. Rather but it feels than the individual. Smell. It feels like it's slightly boozy as well. And I wonder if the, how again that will go with the divana. Oh yes. Well, it's a symphonic orchestra at the moment, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gone a bit Straussy, isn't it? Brilliant. Mm. I, but I, I get what I or again, you, you never really quite know because when you smell something like high ranks, you think it's just maybe I you assume it's high ratio, but maybe there's some of this in it as well. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's a it's a sort of clever sleight of hand, isn't it? And with the packaging and the you know, the yeah. picture of whichever animal is in the front. We, I think we make a lot yeah, of it is the high -rack. connection. Here's another That's thing. Good. At some point we'll just faint, won't we? I think. Yeah. Um, oh. Handy That's map. a very different thing. I don't know what this is, but I do think it needs it. Because mm -hmm. again, <laughs> it, gives, it gives it a bit... Yeah, it's a... It's is a it floral, is it? No, this is benzoin. Oh really? Yeah. It's got like a sweet chewy feel as if it's... Kind of has. Yeah. As if, you know, it just doesn't smell quite like tube rose, but... You see that with the tonka together? That's not what I thought it was. Well, you've been smelling a lot of other... Mm. Uh, so you try those two together, the tonka and the benzoin together. Because I always thought... It's a lovely richness. It's, it's serious stuff. I'm quite enjoying this. <laughs> Styrax, Apopanax, Divana, Lamptinum, Black Agar, and Eggmoss. Yeah. yeah! I would enjoy that. Yeah. So what we actually do in order to make these things legal is to use materials which will enhance them, um, make them last longer, smell bigger, yeah. but in effect they'll be smaller proportions. Sort of something that mm. has a... Okay, See, yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry. This. Opening fanfare. Oh yeah, well, I like this. Of course you do. I like this. That's one of my favourite things so far. White birch. Yeah. Yeah. That's also very, that is very painty. Yeah. So you, I mean, this is at 2%. Lots of the things we've been smelling have been at 10 and 15. God. 2%? Yeah. Wow. That's one of the strongest. Yeah. Well, I think we I should know. put that up to 40 in the <laughs> final <laughs> composition. The white birch, you that's don't really need good. a lot. Um, oh yeah, I mean that's got to go in. I think, yeah. Yeah. And that's a very wafts from the loft kind of smell. Yeah. Because I also think I get wood out with and kind of lacquered things, we? wood as well. Polished wood. Yeah. Mm. I think we, we, we have...